It's the middle of October, so you know what that means. Halloween! First things first, Cartoon gets a new Neo Vision form! Funny part is, he was actually in the global original popularity poll for a new Neo Vision, and he didn't win. In fact, he got seventh. So what's happening to the winner, Roberta? Uh, apparently they're pushing it back. But let's start from the beginning. First off, a new Clash of Wills event. Believe it or not, you're fighting a skeleton castle. Believe it or not, it's weak to fire, light, and dark. A combination that sounds way too good to be true. Which means there's probably a catch. And there is, because not only can it inflict zombie, but they've also gotten their own morale actions now. And maybe there's more, but that's all we know for now. But for new challenges, there are new awards. Break your back to get those Xenostone shards, because now we've got new equipment. The something something fancy something is a powerful set of clothes that can be further upgraded for bonus effects. That cap chain limit push is as spicy as ever, but you have to know that it doesn't stack off the effect from the helm if you've gotten that one already. However, you can choose it again to free up your hat slot for something else, or you can choose another effect, say pillars, stats, esper stats, or a boost your unit's limit burst gauge fill rate. Of course, the best choice really depends on who you're giving this clothing to, though I already have some ideas in mind. But this isn't a guide, it's a news coverage video. Moving on! While you can still use your Xenostone shards, the obnoxious drops have been retired. So what's going to replace it? Why, obnoxious drops, parentheses, frost, and parentheses? The name just rose off the tongue, doesn't it? They've also changed out the units. Instead of losers like Savior of Souls Lightning, Oracle Maiden Luna Freya, or Solitary Patron Snow, we've got Noctis, White Dragon Ling, and Rain and Fina, and maybe some others too, but for now that's all we see. A part of me does feel conflicted. How much lapis did I spend to get White Dragon Ling? Oh right, I didn't need to. But at the same time, I've used White Dragon Ling a lot, so I definitely don't regret getting her earlier. This will be an excellent opportunity for anyone who doesn't have her. And I have to say this is incredibly generous, not to mention odd, given that they've just released some weird banner that featured her a few moments ago. A story event rerun? That's right, for the first time since I don't actually remember, Ibarra Story is being rerun! Now, players can remember the exciting parts of Ibarra Story, like where Ayaka appears. A new Neo Vision unit! Ah, but this one is in Carton, it's Oliveira! Who's apparently the relative of another unit we know, Olive! I'm just kidding, he's Ribera's twin brother. What we see is kind of cool, a Trustmaster reward that boosts magic, limit burst damage, and pushes the chain rate. You have to note that it's not the chain cap. A Super Trustmaster Reward Magic Instrument with high levels of magic and three powerful magic killers. Finally, instruments no longer have to be the butt of the jokes. Here's his vision card. Magic, MP, three magic killers, though only at 25%, and finally additional MP and MP reduction. He's got two forms. His base form is a magic damage dealer, while his brave shift gives him support and tag chains. Apparently he deals dark damage that can scale off morale, and may finally be able to put that instrument in peril to good use. After reaching EX plus 3, he gets more MP, which doesn't sound all that great, but apparently some of his abilities scale with that stat, so hopefully it's well worth the cost. Unit revamps! What? They're actually doing stuff with old content? Rivera, Ibarra, Lucius, and Grimlord Sakura all get kit updates. Rivera's Trustmaster Reward and Super Trustmaster Reward are getting upgraded, her damage modifiers are being raised, she's getting a new killer buff, and she's got a new Magnus ability. If it's anything like Esther or Sylvie's, then it'll be a definite improvement, raising their 7-star performance all the way to Neo Vision levels. Hopefully. Ibarra gets even stronger. More magic, more killers, more damage modifiers, a chain cap boost, gets additional modifiers that scale off morale, and an EX plus 3 that gives her a permanent magic, limit burst damage, and lightning and dark amplification buff. There are so many things here that rely on numbers, but for the time being it all sounds great. Lucius gets stronger too. Though honestly, he's going to need a lot of help. For now, he gets attack, three types of killers, damage modifier buffs, better limit burst damage, though only on his brave shift, and an EX plus 3 ability that inflicts a fist in peril, adds on a triple killer buff, boosts his limit burst damage, and fills his limit burst gauge. I'm hoping it fills it completely. Finally, Grim Lord Sakura. More magic, triple killers, damage modifier boost, and chain cap limit push. And her EX plus 3 gives her a triple killer and a team wide dark amplification buff. Depending on that number, she might be a solid Dark supporter. And finally, to be released on the week of Halloween, Full Moon Carton. But since that's two weeks off, you don't get to learn anything. Oh, and a login bonus. Sounds great. I'm really interested in this rare pumpkin ticket. 
You see, apparently it guarantees a Halloween unit. Which means you'll get a 5 star, limited, probably not too useful, but hopefully you like their sprite. Look, at least it's not Black Hat Lid. You also get Lapis, Tickets, and a Season 4 Countdown Special Quest 2. Hopefully Neo Vision Awakened Blue Mage Fina will make an appearance soon. In the end, this is very exciting. Not only are they bringing new content, but they're also revamping old units as well. Of course, I don't expect Lucius to suddenly overtake Sephiroth. That's never going to happen. But making old units stronger is a great way to maintain interest in the game. Oliveira looks pretty cool, and I'm also stoked for Carton. Now I'm well aware that Carton didn't win the popularity poll, and Roberta got pushed back for whatever reason, but I can look at this glass half full. Just think, if Carton had won the popularity poll, that means we'd only get one new Neo Vision unit for every holiday season, and all the other weirdos would just... hang out with the Black Friday team, I guess. But of course, even with all said and done, I do have to nitpick a few things. Where's Neo Vision Spooky Riser? Also, Illusionist Nicole is a 7 star in Japan, what's up with that?